Hey, this is Lorena, and I want to do a video for you um, of the Houston Quilt Show. I know I already posted one, but in, those, in that video I tended to post more art quilts and a lot more murals and stuff like that. And I was thinking about you traditional piecers, you people who like paper piecing and that kind of type of quilting. And so I also wanted to remember you. And so this video has a whole lot more um, quilts that are paper pieced or pieced, intricate kind of work, like even like Joe's Club kind of piecing and quilting. And I just really hope you like this tutorial. I didn't forget you piecers. I didn't forget you, you traditionalist quilt makers. I didn't forget you. And at the end of the video, I am going to have some modern quilts and just share like the modern and the traditional. Because some of the traditional quilts had a lot of modern take on them. So I really do Thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. So let's get started. This quilt is Cottage Garden, and I wanted to show you this because I do a hand applique, and I just thought this quilt was so beautiful for you appliqueers, you uh, people who love doing hand applique. I think this quilt is beautiful and it has some piecing and here I'm showing you the quilting how it had echoes and then that basket it was a fabric it looked like it was quilted that way and this quilt is called Ken's quilt I believe this is done with all boutiques and it has applique and piecing together and oh my god this is such a beautiful quilt and I wanted to show you some of the quilting that was done by the quilter and it is just lovely you can see all this intricate piecing and a lot of work and how many batiks this lady had this is called autumn of sharon autumn sharon um, what i liked about this quilt it's kind of simple but at the same time when you go into the fabric and look at it you can see the detail of the quilting look how beautiful this is i believe this has wool in it um, and it's appliqued and it is lovely. Look at that. Pebbles. Yeah. This is called Fine Feather Friends. And this one's second place. I think this was more um, made out of wool, I believe. You could just see this beautiful quilting and applique work. It is lovely. Look at this. Do you see those? Uh, those pinwheels wedding quilt this is called wedding quilt uh, this was quilted by this quilt was quilted by Linda Taylor and look at her quilting and look at all that applique work this is called no bake applique um, I really just like the little detail kind of work um, I do believe there was hand embroidery in this and you could see the echo quilting and yeah she won an award for that this quilt is Blue Bonnet and Berry Fleur. I wanted to show you this quilt. Maybe you don't do applique, but maybe you don't like piecing and you're a long armor. So this is eye candy for the long armors. Uh, they just used a piece of linen, like a table linen, and they quilted it on a piece of fabric and used some of the design of the linen to do all this beautiful quilting and design on the fabric that the linen was on. I just, man, this is gorgeous, beautiful. This would be a great wedding gift. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to show it to you. I also think I have a couple more. Uh, Linen Works, they had an area there where you could pet the quilts. This is called Finesse. And this is also with the linen in the center. And you could go into the, we're going to go into the quilting in a second. And you'll see how beautiful the quilting was done on this beautiful linen. Look at that quilting right there. It had beautiful feathers. It even had little flowers. And they did real tight stippling. Uh, I didn't think you could do this with the linen, but it's such a wonderful idea if you have antique linens and just kind of make them, you know, just a showpiece for your home. This is called Cardinal Points. Yes, look at this quilt for you paper peepers. Look at that quilting for you long armor quilters or you quilters. And look, my friend was saying all those, that purple and beige little uh, diamond that was all pieced. And look at all those compasses. 
Yeah, this, you know, you have to get up close to it and see the details. This called Feathered Indigo Star. Uh, this is for you piecers. This quilt was, I think, made in the 1800s. Um, this is going to be one of the series in 2019 at the Houston Quilt Show. Look at all those tiny, tiny half square triangles. And this was all hand quilted. Can you imagine the amount of time the hand maker took in piecing and just working this quilt? This quilt is called Jardin a la Francette. And you can see this wonderful piecing and quilting and I'm showing you a close-up of the quilting the piecing and the white and it has some applique and here I'm showing you the quilting and then this next one is called Chesapeake waters and okay piecers this is delicious from afar it just looks like a waterfall but from up close you could see that beautiful tiny detail to me this is called a long way from home to me, this reminds me of Joe's Club quilt. Do you see how little those strips are? They're a less than a fourth of an inch. And look at the beautiful detail. This is no joke quilting here or piecing. Fantasy flower. And this is, to me, applique. It has all this beautiful red and white applique. Precious time. So I wanted to show you this beautiful quilt. She said she wanted to build a garden where flowers always bloomed. And I wanted to show you the quilting because this is hand quilted. And it also has some hand applique. I think this quilt is magnificent. Can you look at all that wonderful, beautiful detail? And I just wanted to show you that beautiful thing. This is also called Kalali Moon Dance. This is an art quilt. Um, and then this is Samuel Saurus Rex. And I'm going to pull back and you're going to see this little boy acting like a dinosaur. To me, this is just like an art piece. Just beautiful artistry here. And then the next quilt is called Stirring the Coffee. We're going into our modern quilts. But to me, this looks like a modern with some traditional take. And you can see this clean quilting. And it's white. But then it has some beautiful... Uh, traditional piecing and this is modern stepping stone to me this reminds me of the 1980s I remember having art pieces this way in my house when I was younger and look at all that quilting and this is called thoroughly modern uh, Ginny to me this looks like a star that has been deconstructed and pulled apart and I think that's one of the modern takes. This is called Facet. To me, when you go up to the quilt, it looks like a mouth and face. I love the colors, the brightness of it. And here you can see some of the quilting. I like going up close so that you could see how the quilter quilted this. And then we're going into another quilt. This is called Sunburst. And this is how she says the sunburst. Look how beautiful the quilting and the intricate work. It has some piecing, of course. Migration quilt is this one. To me, these are flying geese, but with a modern take, uh, white, gray, and a deeper gray and black. Now, this quilt is beautiful. It says, today is a good day. Here you can see how this modern uh, quilts are deconstructed, what I would consider a log cabin and she quilted it with pebbles and then straight lines here I'm showing it to you and this is called it's called Marika hopefully I'm saying it right I love this quilt because um, it really is symbolic of the Second Amendment here it looks a, like a gun in one direction and the white is a gun in the opposite direction this other quilt is called bodacious I'm sorry you can't see it um, my camera didn't focus. Now this quilt is, I believe, paper pieced. And in a second, I'm going to try to get an up close so you can see in the yellow area that quilting that the long armor did or the quilter. And you can see this beautiful, vibrant color. Now this next quilt is called October Sky. To me, this is a little bit modern, but also it has some very much traditional piecing in it. And here you can see the birds in the quilting. And to me, this is like the fall and the owl. And I think it's wonderful how the quilter created all that artistry with this quilt. This is called Celestial Sedoma. Um, I believe this was somewhat embroidered. 
together but you could see this wonderful quilting and piecing and then it's time for the lime look at this quilt guys yeah look at the long I don't want to say long I'm quilting because it may not be that but look at all this quilting and applique work and the time invested in it and this is called waltz of the flower I think this quilt is so pretty and then this next quilt is called Rhapsody Over Ancient Days. Now I want to show you how beautiful the piecer put all this together and give you little different details. And then I'm going to go to where the border is. I think the border is lovely too. Look at that border. I really do hope you like this tutorial. See you later, okay? Bye.